Let's move on to problem six. Yeah. Now we have a strong base and a buffer. All right, this just the same thing. We just got exactly the same thing. Look at you the same buffer solution. Oh, that was nice of me, wasn't it? It was. Okay. All right, what have I got here? Right, I've got some sodium hydroxide. So I'm gonna draw my beaker. Let's all draw a beaker. All right, sodium and hydroxide. I break it apart because it's a like natural. A drum. Awesome. What? Your beaker. That does like not look like a drum. Yes. That is a beaker. Um, they told. I'll shut up. Okay. The rum, uh, rum, rum, rum. Okay, and we still have the H. CO2H, and then we have the sodium can you tell? and the CO2H negative. So now let's identify who we can ignore. I mm. think it's pretty obvious. Uh -huh. Nah. Sodium goes away. So now we've got um, we've got the hydroxide, which is a strong base. Yep. I have the acid, which is a weak acid. And I have his partner, which has to be a weak base. Yep. So whom is going to react with whom? Strong base. Strong base with weak, weak acid. acid. So these guys are going to react together. So let's write this out. So you'll say hydroxide plus HCO2H H. arrow. Now the partner, uh -huh. I think it's probably easier to say the hydrogen is going to get the hydroxide. Yeah. And just makes water, water HOH, plus CO2H negative. Yes. Now we do our BCA, BCA and our quantities are, are we have uh, 15 the M of e mole thing. Yeah, 15 milliliters times 0.2. Uh, so we have uh, 3 millimoles of the hydroxides. 3. I think they're the same amount. Uh, the they are, one. yeah. So 12 or something? Yeah, uh, 12 and a half of, of which the one? acid. 12.5 of this guy. Yep. And then what was it? Was it? Uh, 1. 5, yeah. 1. 5? Or 15. You're right. Sorry. So oh, yeah. yeah. One, 15. You're okay. Right. I'm sorry, I missed a decimal in my calculator. Minus three, zero. Minus three, uh, that'd be uh, eight. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. And then plus three, we're at 18. Yep. Guess what we have? We have a buffer. A buffer. And we can use the same uh, equation because, of course, it's the same buffer of, the, of formic acid and its partner. So we're going to use this 3.74. Yep. So the pH will be equal to 3.74 plus the log of the base. Now, again, the base is the 18 number, and then the acid is the 9.5. So I say 18 over 9.5, and, and that just comes out to... 4.02. 4.02. That's it. Not, not hard. Uh, there is an alternative way to solve these, by the way, guys. Let me just quickly show you. We're not going to do it. But, if you, of course, what you could then do is you could take your HCO2H, dissociate into H positive, plus CO2. Alternate meaning? Plus HCO2. The other, you um, didn't want to use Henderson Hasselbach? If you didn't want to use Henderson Hasselbach, what you would do, this is a pain in the butt, right? It is. Um, is the uh, HCO2H was 9.5, but you actually have to work in molarity. So you take 9.5 divided by the total volume. Total volume. And then you would take, uh, we're not going to actually solve it. No. And take 18 over total volume, and this will be zero. You would say minus x, your your value from the you know, molarity minus x, and this will be plus x, x, and this will be your this number. You know this will be plus x. It'll be uh, another number called a square plus x, and then you would say the Ka equals, and you would say x times I'll call it square plus x in parentheses over circle minus x. You solve for x, find the hydrogen concentration. Take the negative log of that, and you get your answer. And yep. guess what you'd get? 4.02. 4 for something get the same pretty answer. darn close. So if you have a buffer, you do not want to deal with that round. No, it's just use Henderson Hasselbach. In the butt. Okay, David number Hasselbach. seven. David Hasselbach. It's Henderson Hasselbach. Henderson. Get it right now. Sorry. Okay, strong base and weak base buffer solution. All right, so other examples. There's just right. a myriad of examples. All right, so let's go back to my... Beaker. Beaker. My beaker. All right, what have we got? We've got sodium hydroxide, so we've got Na positive and OH negative. And we have this ethyl amine. That's just a weak base. C2H5. Yeah, it's one of those ammonia type things. It's got that N in there, right? And then this one is a little confusing. It's ethyl ammonium chloride, so that'll be C2H5NH3 positive and chloride negative. Yep. Who gets to go bye bye? Sodium and chloride. So we have now here hydroxide, which is a strong, strong base. base. This, of course, is a weak base. Weak base, and then last one is weak a weak acid. acid. So you can take your strong base and react it with your weak acid. So our reaction will be hydroxide OH negative plus uh, CH. 
What is uh, it again? C, uh, sorry, uh, C2H5 and H3 plus. C2H5. No, no. 2H5. NH3 positive. Yep. That's right. Okay. Make C2H5 NH2 plus and water. water. All right. We'll Kay. do our BCA. Now yep. we do our so M we get our times V yep. equals moles we got for 40 each 40 milliliters and 0.25 molar sodium hydroxide. So, so it's 10 millimoles of hydroxide. 10 millimoles. All right. C2H5 NH3. We do MV. Yep, uh, C2H5 and H3, that's uh, 40 millimoles of that one and 40 millimoles of the other one. 100 milliliters Ignore times the water. 0.4. So yep. we'll subtract 10. Yep. Zero plus 10. No, pardon me. Minus 10. I was checking your. Yeah, I know. 30 plus 10, 50. So we got 30 and 50. Guess what we've got? Buffer. We have a buffer. Now, this is a little bit tricky. Is Here. it still pH equals pKa, A plus the log? of the base over the acid. But yep. if you were to go in the back of your book, yeah, you, get you would find that the KB B. of C2H5NH2 is equal to... 5.6 5 5 times 10 to the negative 4. So you have to look that up in the back of your book. So we need to find the... Um, I would actually find the PKB, Mr. Sams, or I don't know. There's a number of ways to get this. Yeah. Oh, I just took 1 times 10 to the negative 14. All right. So the KA would be 10, 1 times 10 to the minus 14, which is KW, divided by the KB, number. which of course is this number, right. equals 1.79 times 10 to the negative 11. And if you then take the negative log of that, yep. of the KA, that gives you the PKA, which yep. is 10.75. 10 so now I'm going to use my equation, pH, would be equal to 10.75 plus the log of the base over the acid. So let's go back and figure out who's the base and who's the acid again. The base, of course, is the one without the charge. So he's the 50. He's the base. That makes him the acid. So it'll be yep. 50 over 30, right? 50 over 30. Yep. Those are within a fraction of, uh, or a factor of 10 of each other. And so pH is what? 10.97. 10.97. Okay. All right. We're getting there. All right. All right, now let's do a different one. We have sodium hydroxide, big beaker here. I'll just do a square. We've got sodiums, we've got hydroxides. I dissociate that, right? And then I have propanoic acid. Mm -hmm. I've got HC3H5O2. I only have two things, don't I, Mr. Sam? Looks like it. I mean, well, there's three, but I can ignore the sodium. sodium. All right, so obviously this is a base, strong base, and this is a weak acid. So I'm just going to react those together. And I'm going to say OH negative plus H, which one is this? Uh, propanoic acid. H-C3H5O2. H H5 and that's going to make water. And his partner, remember, partner's on the opposite side, C3H5O2 Minus. negative. And then we'll do our BCA. Yep. Now, how many millimoles of hydroxide? If we go we back. We have 10. It's 40 milliliters times 0.25 molar. For so this 10 is millimoles. 10 millimoles. And then we have 20 milliliters of 0.5 molar, which is also 10 oh, millimoles. Oh, 10 millimoles. Okay, this is interesting. How much of this do we have? Um, we none. None. Okay, so this will be minus 10, mm -hmm. 0. Minus 10, 0. Plus 10, 10. Yay, oh. we have a buffer. No. Wait a second. We Can we buffer? Don't have a buffer. Do we have partners? We have zero of our mm, propanoic yeah. acid, and we have 10 of our propanate. Propanoate, yeah. Propanoate or propanate? I think it's propanoate. Okay, whatever. Close enough. Sounds All right. kind of fun. Banana fan propanoate. Now, guess what? We cannot do no cannot do Henderson, Henderson Hasselbach. Hasselbach. So now we need to take this amount. And we need to write a new reaction. And yes. the reaction, of course, is when in doubt, you always react something with water. So I'm going to react with water. Now, I'm going to write HOH. You will see here, double arrow. Because this is the equilibrium step. We've done our stoichiometry. Now we're going to do equilibrium. Now we do the equilibrium. Henderson Hasselbach is doing equilibrium. Right. Shortcut. It's just the easy way. Yeah. So now I'm going to say HC3H5O2. See, this hydrogen connects here, makes his partner, right? Yep plus hydroxide. Yep. Now, we have a particular... Now, this is an ice table. It's yes. not a BCA table. No. Now, when can we use millimoles, Mr. Sam? When we're doing the BCA table and in henderson Hasselbach. Yes, you can use it in henderson Hasselbach. You so cannot what? use them in an ice table. You must use what? We must use concentration. So we must work in concentration. So if I go back here, I had 10 millimoles. Yep. 
So 10 millimoles divided by the total milliliters. Total volume. We had 40 milliliters of the base and 20 milliliters of the acid for a total of 60 milliliters. So 20 and 40. Mix, these were mixed together. Yes. This is um, 60 milliliters. Mm -hmm. So 10, 10, 10 over 60 yeah. is what? <laughs> 0 0.166666666 repeating. There you go. 0.167 molar. That will be my beginning amount, 0 0.167. And no guess way. what? We've done a problem just like that. Did you that right? Yeah. I was just going to say, my son's learning his numbers, and the first time he saw 20, and he was learning, he called it 20-0, because oh. it had an O at the end, so 20 -O. You've actually done a problem like this in, in the previous chapter, but basically mm -hmm. you, have, you have the salt of a weak acid but we've produced it in a reaction, actually. Yes. So it's a little bit different, but not really. The problem, mathematics, is the same. Now, this right here is not a Ka problem. No, this is This K is a hydroxide. E. So we need to find the Ka of this is from the back of the book. The Ka is 1.3 times 10 to the negative 5. So if you do the math, the Kb is 7.69 times 10 to the negative 10. So I need to use that in my calculations. I'll say... 7.69 times 10 to the minus 10th would be equal to x squared over 0 0.167 minus x. I solve for x. Now, something I, I've noticed on some people's tests, x is actually the hydroxide concentration. I think it's important that you actually write brackets hydroxide. Yeah. So now you use your solver. Mr. Sams is furiously doing the solver game. And he's solving for x. And x is? 1.13 times 10 to the negative 5. So now what we can do is take, and that's molarity, yep. the molar, you would take the negative log of that and you would get the pOH, which is the negative log of this number here. 4.95. 4.95. And of course, um, pH 9 plus pOH oh, sorry. is 14. Yes. So then therefore the pH, 14 minus 4.95, I'm not going to write it down, is? 9.05. 9.05. And actually, let's talk about this particular number. What is this particular thing called when you have, when you run out of everything? Thing. Yeah, here it is. Yep. This is the screen I want. You have zero here and zero here. This is technically called the at the equivalence, equivalence point. point. And what is the pH at the equivalence point? Nine. It's not seven. Right. Um, because of the presence of the pro panoate, panoate uh, ion or propanate ion. I don't want to call. I've always called it propanate. Oh, oh well, that's okay. Because we have this propanate, propanol, whatever, this ion right here, this guy, and since he is a weak base, the conjugate base of the weak acid, propanoic acid, then it's basic at the yeah. equivalence point. So, and the pH is uh, higher than 7, it's 9. Yeah. So it totally makes sense. I yep. think we've got a couple more to do. We? we do. All right, we'll be done here soon. We've got four more. Four? Five more. Have mercy. I know. What are we thinking? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, this is such a...